Welcome back to Shulites. Today I'm going to be explaining binning. Binning with regards to emitters for their tint. There's two different kinds of binning, and I'm only going to cover one right now, which is the tint binning. That's how magenta, how green, or how neutral the emitter is. There's also another kind of binning called flux binning, and flux binning is how bright, how many lumens. Now, I've never really concerned myself too much with flux binning because flux binning is going to vary a little bit, and because tint is the primary thing for me, and so if I can get a good tint, I mean, I'll forgive almost anything else. Let's take a look at uh, Firefly's website here, and any of these kind of enthusiast brands will typically list next to the emitter type something like this, where it says FA4. And so look, it says SST, FA4, 4000K, CRI 95. So what we're saying here is that it's a luminous SST20, emitter, it's 4000K CCT or correlated color temperature, and that it's a 95 color rendition index. But what's the FA4? Well, that is the tint bin. And typically, if one of these manufacturers is going to quote the tint bin, it's usually a good thing. It means that they know, you know, what they got and they know that's going to appeal to you. But let's look this up, okay? So all you have to do is open up a new window here on your web browser, type in the name of the emitter. I'm gonna go with Luminous SST20, and then I'll go down to Datasheet, okay? And I'm gonna click right here. This is this website up here says luminous.com, so I'll click on that one, and now here I have a PDF datasheet of SST20. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of scroll down about halfway through this sheet, a lot of data in here, and I'm looking for this graph. And you can see it says chromaticity binning diagram. So this is exactly what we're looking for. Now, first I wanna say that every single brand of emitter has its own binning chart. And it might even have its own binning chart per emitter. So definitely look up the specific one for your emitter. But notice that if I go back to the Fireflies page here, you see that they're saying they're using the FA4 bin of SST. So let's take a look at that. So FA4 is right down here. I hope you can see it. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. There you go. So there's FA4. And so what this tells you is that any of these bins here, FA1, FD3, all these guys, would be around 4000K color temperature. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that across this chart, it gets warmer this direction. They don't always do that, by the way. This, this chart goes this way. So FA4 means specifically that it is well below this dashed line, and that's the black body locus. That's the dead neutral, not magenta or uh, green line. If you want to know more about these terms like BBL, black body locus, uh, you want to know more about delta UV, definitely check out my video on all that stuff, which is in the upper right-hand corner of the screen right now. Okay, so I got a really lengthy video that explains what all this means. But suffice to say that FA4 would be a very rosy version of a 4000K SST20 emitter. And notice that FA3 should also be neutral to rosy, but notice that it's a large square here, so it can actually be even slightly above. So FA3 could actually be a little on the green side, just a touch. I would think that your eye would pick it up as neutral. So FA4 would be rosy, FB4 would be definitely greener than neutral, but FA3 should be around in neutral. And it is a crapshoot even within FA4, so know that. Let's do one more, okay? Let's do one more. Uh, let's say you were on uh, Hank Wang's website and you saw that he was using an XBL high emitter that was called 5A4. So let's go Cree. XBL high data sheet. Okay, let's click on their data sheet. And we're gonna go about halfway down again. Let's find that same chart. Okay, there we go. And notice this time that their numbering and lettering system is a little different, isn't it? But if I zoom in here, you'll see that FA4 is the rosy, see the dashed line here? It's it's well below BBL for the 4000K emitter. So the FA4 would be analogous 
in the Cree XPL high world to what the FA4 was for the SST20. Now, it just happens to be that 5A4 and FA4 sound, you know, similar. These companies are definitely not talking to each other and making sure their stuff makes sense. Now, hopefully, you can go forth with this information and look up the color binning of the emitters that you're going to buy before you buy them.